Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to weld plastic and it sounds a lot more sophisticated than it is. I'm just going to use this soldering iron and you can buy plastic welding equipment but just use a soldering iron for minor repairs. It'll work great. Out here on the homestead I have a lot of plastic pieces that break. You can see that this is the lid for a chicken waterer and that is broken completely through. And so what we're going to do is put it back in position weld it together, and then also reinforce it with some metal. As you can see, the pieces still roughly fit together. There's actually a significant gap in the middle, but we can fill that. So the first thing I'm going to do is basically tack it, tack weld it together. So I start with my hot soldering iron. I'm just going to tack it into place. So you see that's starting to melt. And then take it away. Now there are some vapors coming off this, so if you can do it outdoors, that'd be ideal. Otherwise, maybe blow a fan. I've got the windows open. You don't want to inhale that. Now hold it until it cools. Maybe even blow on it. Okay, so that is a temporary hold. Now I'm gonna flip it over here and do the same thing across the top. Okay, and that can be surprisingly strong just as it is, but I'm gonna continue to get all the little nooks and crannies that I can get, tack welding, so to speak. And I did clean this just a little bit with a soft brush. I didn't use any solvents, but if you wanted to, you could probably use some solvent on there. Get rid of all the dirt. So we've pretty much tacked it together, and it's, it's pretty strong, but I'm gonna show you how to reinforce it. So let's go back to this top part right here. Now, one thing I found is these old plastic zip ties, okay? They're the same material, oftentimes they're the same color, black. Watch how much this fills it in. This is gonna be our filler rod. Again, I tack weld it. Tack weld it. And you can build this up as much as you want. pull that way. You can kind of smooth it out, but look at that. You've just added that thickness of the zip tie to that repair. Okay, so I'm going to let that cool, but now here's another couple things you can do. You can take some steel wool, okay, not a Brillo pad because that has soap on it, but just get some regular steel wool. The finer the better. And you can put that right in there, tack it in. This is going to act as a little bit of like a fiberglass type of effect. And the metal really conducts the heat very quickly. So I'm gonna tack it down right into the plastic. And then what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna come this way with my plastic filler rod. Basically sandwich that metal right in there. And I think that the steel won't rust if it's covered in this plastic too. Now, I don't care about the way it looks, but if you were really concerned about the aesthetics, you could build enough of this up and then sand it down, try to make it look pretty. See what I'm doing is making longitudinal, okay, let me pull this out, making longitudinal this way, reinforcements. And I'm gonna keep going back and forth. I'll come back in a minute. I'm just gonna keep layering it up sandwiching this metal in and trying to build it up. All right, now I'm gonna to try to fill that little gap. Bring in our filler rod. Just melt a whole bunch of it into there. Make sure that you melt the original plastic. Try to join them together. All right, well, here's the finished product. You can see that it's not perfectly smoothed out, but I have filled it all in the nooks and crannies, gone all the way around this, and I've made a very, very solid repair. I don't think that's gonna come apart.